Hey there, my name's Jake Berger, and this is about, like, what does it mean that in the law of one, what does it mean when Ra talks about positive versus negative polarity? And because there, it's easy to kind of get mixed up, well, is positive good and negative is bad? It's not that at all. Right there, it's no right or wrong or good or bad or plus or minus. What it means, the way to think about it is almost like a battery. So if you've ever seen a circuit, a battery, there's a plus side and a negative side. And the plus side is where current flows out of and the negative side is where electrons flow out of. So that's one way to think about it. And another way to think about it, which is probably a little bit more um, easier to imagine, is that a plus energy is an outward energy. Right? It's, a, it's a giving. It's a, it's a pushing. Whereas a minus, a negative, negative energy is, is an inward. It's a pulling and some emotional ways to see this is that somebody who's really angry that uh, that who disagrees with what's happening and uh, it's it's an outward right that's a a positive polarity whereas somebody who's sad they they actually go inwards right it's it's like a depression it's an inward energy Yet still, those are both negative, seen as negative emotions. And so that's where it could be a little bit confusing. Now, if you want to hear some positive, well, what are the, some positive emotions about positive and negative polarity? And the way to think about that would be uh, a negative polarity, so like a self-service positive emotion would, okay, I'm not going to do this anymore, <laughs> would be uh, self-confidence. Like, yes, I did so good there. Feeling proud about yourself. Something you did and you're just like, yeah. Right? I could feel proud of myself for making this video and communicating my ideas about the law of one. And by the way, that doesn't mean I agree with all of the law of one. I've got a few more about real, really to not feel like it, it as a religion, but to just take the ideas that are useful to you and let go of the rest. And I encourage you to do that with my videos as well. So we had the negative emotions. I told you I wasn't going to do that anymore, but I still did to kind of, it's just a label, right? It's almost an emphasis. What's, what's that saying? Like, m repetition is the mother of skill. So, self-confidence is an, a negative polarity. It's an inward, like, yes, I... You know, going inward. Right? So, within the, the positive, outward, giving of self-confidence would maybe be a compliment to somebody else, right? If I have, if I think, yeah, I did awesome there, that's almost like a self compliment. So any kind of self, self serving is almost a negative and negative polarity. And I almost think that overall, like if somebody gets, if somebody's angry, we think of that as negative because it's almost like they're unable to, they're giving out a negative energy, <laughs> right? Even though it's not an inward negative polarity, it's still like they, they can't come to terms with this energy. So they just have to like, oh, get away from me. <sighs> and, uh, Whereas the sadness is like, oh, woe is me, right? <laughs> me. 
And uh, so, and it's, now the way to, so what's useful about this for me is usually people have a tendency towards a negative polarity or a positive polarity. Like me, I just have a natural tendency because I was, in my childhood, I spent a lot of time with myself. Like I wasn't, for the first couple of years of my life, I wasn't around a lot of children. I was the only child and I was with my father a lot and he was at work. So I didn't have a lot of interaction time when it's, you know, if you've seen a litter of puppies, it's important for those puppies to be together with other puppies when they're little. Because then they learn how to play with each other, right? They bite each other's ears and, oh, that's too painful. Arr! And then they, okay, then they learn. And uh, so same with me. Like, I didn't really learn or I learned later how to interact with other people. So I was more of an inward, right? And I noticed that. Uh, and recently I noticed that, like, if I have a good idea... I, in my mind, I'm like, yes, Jacob, that's awesome. And I didn't, I didn't realize that most people didn't have that habit. That was just a natural thing that I had developed because from being alone. <laughs> and, and then I was reading a book recently and I, I, one of the characters, you can kind of like see inside the character's mind of what they're thinking. And one of the characters would do that and the other characters would not do that. And I was like, oh my gosh, most people don't do that. Uh, so that was, that's like a, a negative polarity, but it's a positive thing. And I've, I've learned, I'm learning how to give those compliments to other people. So for example, like, congratulations to you for watching this video so far and if you have any questions then I encourage you to leave a comment below just and I uh, I encourage your curiosity I appreciate your curiosity in in uh, listening to what I have to say and my ideas and just what other people think about the law of one because isn't it cool how we can connect on the internet in kind of like bounce ideas off of each other. So that's an inward, a negative polarity about myself. And for me, I've noticed that if, if, something, if, if something happens outside of me, I tend toward a negative polarity. Like I tend to go, like I get my feelings hurt. Whereas other people, they might get angry if they disagree with something or if something didn't go their way, right? They'll have a temper tantrum. And uh, I know I do this a lot, <laughs> but I really, I'm, it's me emphasizing the labels that we put on these actions just to, so we can kind of create a distance from those labels. Uh, and uh, so, that's one thing I'm curious about, like when something when something happens outside of your control or when the world reacts a certain way, do you tend to go negative polarity where you get sad, you hurt your feelings get hurt, and you kind of get down, or do you get angry all oh, those that's just positive polarity, so which one are you? more negative or more positive in that regards. And then the second question would be when you feel good about yourself or when you, <laughs> about yourself, that's a negative polarity, right? When something good happens, how do you go negative, go inside? Like, what do you say to yourself? Or how do you react internally? And then how do you, what are some ways you react outwardly pop in the, I don't know how to say that with love instead of anger or disagreement. So how do you react with harmony? That's a good word. There it is. So when you feel uh, disharmony, 
disagreement, if when you feel disharmony, do you go inside or outside with anger? And when you feel harmony, do you feel, uh, do you tend to go outside, like, oh, let's hug, or do you like, oh my God, this. So that's my question for you. I'll leave a comment below. If you like this video on the understanding what positive or negative polarity are, then uh, if you like that, this content, then please like it so other people like us can uh, have a better chance at finding this content. And please have a look at my playlist about the Law of One because I've got a few more ideas about how this is how I interpreted the whole thing. And I think what I'm gonna do, this is my first video on it, is Ra tends to use heavy, dense, thick words where it's like I've got to, I've got to look up the word in the dictionary and then go back to his text and be like, oh, okay, that's what that whole thing means. And what I want to do then is kind of simplify some of the paragraphs so they're easier to digest. And I'll put that probably in a Google Doc and maybe make it available where other people can edit it as well. And then we can kind of create like, hey, this is this is the the PhD version of the raw of raw, and this is easy version. So and that might be in the description box below if I've already started on that. So if you'd like to get on that, then look in the description box. Otherwise, yeah, please like this video if you're watching this far and then subscribe if you would like to see the future videos. So I appreciate your attention. Have an amazing day and I'm excited to see your comments.